You ever wonder, like, the, like the, the, the camp slasher that's most guilty of that is Friday the 13th. Yeah. We're like... Open a closet. Oh, it's my friend. Open the door. Oh, my God. There's my friend. He falls dead on me. Like, do you, do you, like, every time I watch those movies, I can't help but wonder, like, when did he do all this? Like, at what point is he just, like, arranging bodies and stuff like that? Or I can't remember which one it is, but I think it might be uh, six. It might be six, where there's all these cops at Camp Crystal Lake. And all the, these kids are, like, hiding under the beds and stuff like that. And Jason Voorhees is trucking around and shit. And somebody gets killed and decapitated. And he's over here. Like, he's over by, the, like, the, the 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 beds and stuff like that. Like, menacing people or whatever the hell. And then they somebody goes back to the cop car. And the severed head is in the cop car. I was like, so when did he do that? Did he, did he show up at the camp, kill the guy, and be like, I'm going to put this in the backseat of a cop car. <laughs> and the first person to open this fucking door is just going to flip out. Or It's going to be so awesome. It's going to be yeah. so... Like, I just feel... He's not even going to be there. He's going to be, like I said, off by the beds menacing. Menacing people and, and, and stuff like that. So it's like he's just it's a, a troll of some kind. He's just like, oh, I'm going to get him. He's just constantly just leaving bodies around. And then in other ones, it's like he kills people, puts their body someplace, someone discovers it, and then later in the movie, that same body gets moved to a different spot. I, why is no, he... if you'd played, I think it's Goldeneye where you have to remove your bodies as you're killing people or else yeah. the guys discover you and everything. And that takes some effort and time. They're usually heavy, like unless they're you're Jason Voorhees and they're little tiny campers or whatever. But yeah. they are heavy and unwieldy and they make noise and people notice you. You're always like dragging a body halfway down a dimly lit alley and somebody says, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least that always happens to me. <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta cut all the parts out. <laughs> Were you somewhat allude to killing people? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Because I don't. I don't even think that that's necessary for you to disclaim that. <laughs> but if it is necessary, let's just be clear. Typically, Lydia, Lydia doesn't... Uh, Typically, kill... never, no. Typically, never. No. <laughs> No, no. I'm talking video games. That's the problem is that I get thinking video games and I like don't keep up with the uh, proper tense, and then I start just slipping into like. I find so. I find that's super distracting when actors do that. When mm-hmm. actors, I like it when actors say my character does this and my character does that and my character does this. I always the I always hit a wall when actors start saying, "Well, in the movie, I do this and I do that," and I was like. I, it just sounds so strange to me. Is like, you don't do any of that. It's a movie, and you're an actor, and your character does that. The character that you're playing. Yeah. You no, find... I, I, like no. When Sherry Moon Zombies describing stabbing that girl in the bunny outfit in uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, and she, it's an amazing explanation of how it felt and it, it was scared her quite a bit but she uses that like i that did this and i did that and it did affect her quite deeply but it would have been a lot easier to take if she would have been like uh, baby firefly and did this baby firefly stabbed that girl and when baby firefly did this i felt like that but yeah i know what you mean and 